Imagine waking up in 2030 to find that the cloud computing market has exploded to a staggering 1.6 trillion. Well, you might want to set your alarm because that future is rapidly approaching. I'm Felix and today we're diving deep into the AI stocks that could skyrocket your portfolio faster than my golden retriever Winston chases after his favorite tennis ball. We will cover some well-known stocks and some hidden gems, so stick around. According to Allied Market Research, the global cloud computing market currently valued at about 360 billion is poised to grow by 15% annually, reaching that mind-boggling 1.6 trillion by 2030. In this video, we'll explore major cloud providers, data center giants, SaaS leaders, cybersecurity innovators, and semiconductor powerhouses. You'll discover why companies like Microsoft and NVIDIA are turning heads and how lesser known players might just be your ticket to impressive returns. Equally exciting, our teaching portfolio has also grown very impressively over 80% this year. That's a $24,000 gain on a 30K portfolio if you fancy learning how we achieve this for free and get an insight into my three-step system that beginners can implement, how we set up trades, how we find them, how we automate the profit taking and risk management and everything else, come and join our free beginners challenge next week, felixfriends.org slash challenge. So grab your spot. Now let's get cracking with our top AI stocks for September, shall we? Now somebody asked me yesterday, what is the cloud exactly? And Imagine it as a vast digital sky filled not with fluffy white clouds, but with endless streams of data and computing power. That's essentially what cloud computing offers, a way to access and utilize powerful computing resources over the internet, rather than relying solely on your local machine. You see, instead of storing all your files and running complex programs on your own very powerful computer, the cloud allows you to tap into massive data centers and compute power anywhere in the world. It's like having a supercomputer at your fingertips, accessible anytime, anywhere. All you need is a bit of Wi-Fi. And this technology has revolutionized how businesses operate, enabling unprecedented scalability and flexibility. So let's look at the major players dominating this digital skyscape before we find some of our hidden gems. First up, we have Microsoft, ticker MSFT. Microsoft's cloud platform Azure has been growing at an astounding pace with a market cap of over 3 trillion and a robust 70% gross profit margin, Microsoft is a force to be reckoned with. Their cloud services cater to businesses of all sizes, from startups to Fortune 500 companies. And let me tell you, their growth trajectory is steeper than the hill Winston races down when he spots a squirrel. Next on our list is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. Amazon Web Services, or AWS in short, is the undisputed leader in the cloud market. Amazon has a market cap of 1.8 trillion and its revenue has grown by almost 20% over the last five years, which is just insane each year. So Amazon's cloud division is a profit powerhouse. They've invested heavily in infrastructure, spending a whopping 59 billion on that infrastructure. That's more than the GDP of some small countries. Last but certainly not least, we have the third in the trio, the three amigos, Alphabet, ticker symbol Google. Google's parent company might be third in market share, but they're certainly not resting on their laurels. With a market cap of over 2 trillion and an impressive 31% return on capital employed, Google is rapidly expanding its cloud offering. They're particularly strong in data analytics and machine learning, areas that are becoming increasingly crucial in our AI-driven world. Now, you might be wondering which of these cloud giants is the best investment. Well, as my old mentor used to say, the best stock is like a well-trained retriever, reliable, adaptable, and always ready to fetch returns. I tweaked that quote slightly to make it fit Winston. Each of these companies has its strengths, and I would suggest a diversified approach is probably the wisest strategy here. Now, let's shift our focus to the unsung heroes of the cloud computing world, data centers. Think of these as the digital warehouses that make the cloud possible. Imagine, if you will, a massive, highly secure facility 
filled with rows upon rows of powerful computers, storage devices, and networking equipment. These data centers are the physical backbone of cloud services, processing and storing the vast amounts of data that power our digital lives. They're like the engine room of a massive ship, keeping everything running smoothly behind the scenes. Now, you might be wondering, Felix, how can I invest in these digital powerhouses? Well, I've sniffed out two companies, I'm taking the credit here for Winston's work, of course, that are absolutely crushing it in the data center space. First up, we have Vertiv Holdings, ticker symbol VRT. Vertiv is a bit like the architect and maintenance crew of the data center world. They provide critical digital infrastructure, continuity solutions that keep these facilities running smoothly. With an eye-popping earnings per share growth forecast of 118% and a five-year revenue compound annual growth rate of just under 10%, Vertif is positioning itself as a key player in this expanding data center market. One of Vertif's specialities is thermal management, essentially keeping these massive computer systems from overheating. It's a bit like ensuring Winston doesn't overheat during our summer walks, but on a much grander scale. I spray him with water. Next, let's look at Arista Networks, ticker symbol A-N-E-T. If Vertif is the architect, Arista is like the traffic controller of the data center world. They develop and sell cloud networking solutions, including switches and software that help data centers operate efficiently. With a gross profit margin of 64% and a return on capital employed of 32%, which is insanely good, Arista is showing some impressive financial shops. Arista solutions basically help to manage the flow of data within and between data centers, much like how I manage Winston's excitement when it's time for his walk. But let's shift gears and explore the world of SaaS or software as a service. But if I could subscribe to a service that delivers exactly what he needs when he needs it, that's essentially what SaaS does for businesses in the digital realm. SaaS allows companies to access software applications over the internet, rather than installing and maintaining the software on their own computers. It's like having a personal chef for your digital needs, always ready to serve up the latest and greatest without the hassle of shopping and doing the dishes. So let's examine some of the top dogs in the SaaS kennel, shall we? First up, we have Adobe, yeah, ticker symbol ADBE, and you might know Adobe for Photoshop, but they've transformed into a SaaS powerhouse. In fact, they're pretty much the ones who invented software as a service, one of the first big companies to go out there and charge a subscription for their software rather than selling it to you in a box like in the good old days. They have a gross profit margin of 88% and an earnings per share growth forecast of 55%. Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite is just the go-to for digital creatives worldwide. It's like they figured out how to turn pixels into profit. I have no doubt that parts of this video have been abused by Adobe software. Next, we have Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM. Salesforce is the top dog in customer relationship management, which is why they got that cool ticker symbol, CRM. They have a five-year revenue compound annual growth rate of 21% and a recent move to start paying dividends. They're showing both growth and maturity and their platform is so bloody comprehensive, it's like having a digital Swiss army knife for managing customer interactions. They're just the leader in enterprise CR CRM and if you know anything about enterprise software, it's sticky. People don't like to change it because it's a pain in the ass to retrain 10,000 people on a different software. Now let's look at another ticker, service now, ticker symbol now. And they specialize in automating enterprise IT operations and workflow. And they have a gross profit margin of 79%, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, Five-year revenue compound annual growth rate of 28%, which is amazing. And they're growing faster than, well, anything really. Their platform helps businesses streamline operations to be efficient and reliable. And then last but not least, we have Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. Palantir is a bit of a unique breed in the SaaS world, focusing on big data analytics and AI-driven software platforms Gross profit margin is 81%, pretty impressive, and an eye-watering earnings per share growth forecast of 326%. Yeah, they are certainly 
garnering some attention here. Now, I've done a deep dive on Palantir in previous videos. If you're curious about the details of their operations and potential, I'd highly recommend you type in Palantir and Felix and you probably find some of Winston's best research. These SaaS companies are at the forefront of digital transformation, providing the tools that businesses need to thrive in our increasingly cloud-centric, fluffy world. They're not just part of the AI and cloud computing revolution, they're essentially shaping it. Now let's turn our attention to a critical aspect of our digital world, cyber security. In this age of cloud computing and AI, it's more important than ever to keep our digital assets safe and sound. Think of cybersecurity as the guard dogs of the digital realm. Just as Winston keeps our home safe from, not really people, he rolls over when people walk in, Squirrels. Yes, he does keep it safe from squirrels. These companies work tirelessly to protect businesses and individuals from cyber threats. And you might be wondering why cybersecurity is so crucial. As we move more of our data and operations from our local storage into the cloud, the potential targets for cyber criminals grow exponentially. It's like leaving the door open when you go on holiday, you're just asking for trouble. So there are a couple of companies I want to look at here. Let's start with Palo Alto Networks, ticker symbol P-A-N-W. They're basically the Swiss army knife of cybersecurity. They offer everything, a comprehensive suite of security solutions, advanced firewalls to cloud-based offerings, gross profit margin is 74%, which is pretty sweet. Compound annual growth rate is 22%, and they're clearly doing something right. Otherwise, they wouldn't have those numbers. But their earnings per share growth forecast is negative which suggests they are facing some challenges, which we don't particularly like. Next up, we have Fortinet, ticker symbol FTNT, and that's another heavyweight in the cybersecurity arena. They specialize in firewalls, antivirus, and intrusion prevention systems. Gross profit margin, again, 78%, which is impressive. The return on capital employed is 34%, very impressive. So they're showing some impressive financial muscle here. And their approach to cybersecurity is a bit like Winston's approach to guarding the house. Comprehensive, vigilant, and always ready to greet a visitor with a lick, except that they hopefully don't lick your visitors. And then last, but certainly not least, we have CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. They're kind of the new kid on the block, but they're making waves with cloud-delivered endpoint and cloud workload protection. Their numbers are pretty staggering. Their revenue has grown 65% per year over the last five years. Gross profit margin is 75%. And earnings per share growth forecast is about 1,000%. It's like they discovered a new breed of digital guard dog that's faster, smarter, and more efficient than golden retrievers. These cybersecurity companies are at the forefront of protecting our digital assets. They're not just reacting to threats, they're using AI and machine learning to predict and prevent attacks before they happen. And as we continue to rely more heavily on cloud services and AI tech, the importance of robust cybersecurity measures will only grow. These companies are positioning themselves to be the guardians and the shovel in a way of our digital future. The more powerful GPUs and cyber supercomputers get, the more powerful hackers become. So we need to continually up the ante on the defense because we know what the other side is playing with. And that takes us quite nicely into the next segment, which is the world of semiconductors the digital recipe book that make AI and cloud computing possible. These teeny tiny chips, actually they're not that tiny anymore, they're quite large. They're now the secret ingredient in every modern piece of technology, from your smartphone to the massive data centers we discussed earlier. First up, we have advanced micro devices, ticker symbol AMD. And AMD has been cooking up a storm in the semiconductor kitchen. Their revenue has grown 28% per year, they have an eye-watering earnings per share growth forecast of over 500%. So they're serving up some good numbers. Their processors are pretty good, pretty versatile, pretty powerful, and increasingly popular. Now, they're not quite as powerful as the green giant from NVIDIA, but they are a about to launch some stuff that might make them more competitive. So if I wanted to pick a number two in the semiconductor space, it would be AMD. But let's talk about the company that everybody's buzzing about, NVIDIA, of course. And NVIDIA is, well, it's just 
the semiconductor world at the moment. Bold, innovative, consistently delivering excellence. Market caps now over 3 trillion. They've been growing at 39% per year, their revenue. So they are the AI revolution at this point. Their GPUs are the secret source to pretty much every piece of AI software out there. So they are the key player that you really just can't avoid. And we've done some much more in-depth analysis on NVIDIA, on NVIDIA in previous videos. So if you were more hungry on that type NVIDIA stock Felix into YouTube and you'll find what I've come up with. But last, but certainly not least, we have another stock that's a little bit more interesting. ASML holding, take a symbol ASML. ASML is like the master chef creates the tools that other chefs use. They develop and produce advanced semiconductor equipment systems, focusing on lithography systems with a gross profit margin of 51%, pretty impressive for a manufacturer, and a return on capital employed of 32%. They're proving that sometimes the real money is in selling the pans, not necessarily flipping the pancakes. ASML's technology is crucial for producing all of the most advanced chips. Without the equipment, many of the semiconductors powering our AI and cloud computing evolution simply wouldn't be possible. These semiconductor companies are the foundation upon which our entire digital world is built. They're not just part of the AI and cloud computing story, they are the authors writing the future of tech. And as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI and cloud computing, these companies will be at the forefront continually innovating and driving progress. We've journeyed through the digital landscape here faster than Winston chasing after his favorite squirrel. He doesn't actually have a favorite squirrel. Uh, that would be cruel, wouldn't it? But let's take a moment to recap the key points that we've uncovered here. First and foremost, we've seen that this sector is brimming with potential across various subsectors, from the towering cloud providers to the nimble SaaS companies. There are investment opportunities to suit different appetites. What's particularly exciting is the robust financial health many of these companies are displaying. High gross profit margins, which generally implies a big moat, and strong revenue growth are common themes suggesting these firms aren't just building castles in the cloud, they're constructing solid financial foundations. Now, it's worth noting that valuations in the sector can be varied, to put it politely. Some stocks are sporting super high PE ratios, which reflects the market's optimism about their future prospects. So it's a bit like betting on a puppy to win crufts. There is potential, but there's also some risk. Speaking of potential, the cybersecurity and semiconductor companies we've examined are showing particularly strong growth forecasts. It's clear that as our digital world expands, the need for robust security and advanced computing power is skyrocketing hand in hand. Remember, a well-constructed portfolio needs balance too. Consider mixing established players with high growth potential stocks to create a strategy that aligns with your risk tolerance and investment goals. And don't overlook the significant capital expenditures many of these companies are making. It's a clear sign they're not resting on their laurels, but they're actively investing in innovation and expansion. You might be wondering, how do we put all this information together? Well, if you want to learn my actual trading strategy, three steps, so it's got us up over 80% so far this year, then it's part of our mission to make a million people financially free in this community. Come and join me on Tuesday at felixfriends.org slash challenge. Grab yourself a free seat in the front row. And remember, money management is a skill. It's got to be learned. You need some patience. You got to put in some effort. Don't just put it all on, you know, whatever appears to be the fastest horse at the moment. But the right approach rewards in the markets can be truly remarkable. Until next time, this is Felix and of course, Winston signing off. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend and maybe even abuse one of the like buttons. Take care. What if I told you that there is a group of companies that have outperformed their respective industries by a massive amount over the last two years.